All right, good afternoon, everyone. It is Monday, July the 10th. Um, my name is Reese. I'm an apprentice of the Master Trader, Inner Circle Trader, and we are going to use his concepts to analyze um, the NASDAQ for Monday, July the 10th. I'm going to try and keep this video short. Um, some of the concepts that I'm going to use here, guys, um, I'm going to use one daily profile. Uh, number two, I'm going to use dealing range theory. Uh, and then inefficiencies and liquidity. Okay. Let's start out with our daily profile. So there are three types of daily profiles from an ICT uh, standpoint. There are consolidation day profiles, there are uh, bullish, bullish uh, daily profiles, and there are bearish daily profiles. Now, how we use the daily profiles is we start the new 24-hour banking cycle with New York open midnight which came here okay I think everyone is gonna agree here that today was a consolidation day profile okay so we're, we're gonna get that out of the way to Monday's trading was a consolidation day profile so on a consolidation day profile, you expect that price should trade in, up, down, all and around that New York open midnight price, which you can see it referenced that multiple times. So coming in to the London session, which is 0200 to 0500, we can see that price was mostly below the New York open midnight price. And then as we came into the morning session, so our, our New York pre-market, we were trading above the New York midnight open price, um, which means that for the whole 24-hour banking cycle, it was mostly unchanged. That's going to be our consolidation day profile. Now, I'm also going to talk about, you know what, I'm going to talk about weekly profiles as well. Uh, today was Monday's trading. So Monday, Sunday and Monday's trading, you would expect that the low of the week or the high of the week should not be put in in most weeks, okay? Uh, you do oftentimes expect Sunday and Monday's trading to be rather consolidating, uh, which means that for newer traders and for myself included, these are uh, consolidation day profiles are difficult market conditions um, because a lot of the targets that you would like to see, uh, you would like to see traded back through are just not gonna be hit. So. Let's take a look at the next part of our daily profile, and that is the uh, Judas swing. So ICT Judas swing theory is that prior to a market open, so the London open, which is at 0300, and prior to the New York open, which is at 0930, the price should make a run above liquidity in the opposite of the intended direction, otherwise known as a fake breakout. Now, I don't like that term, fake breakout, because it is real price action, like the price actually did go there, uh, but it is just counter counter the intended move. We can see exactly that right here. So we had a run above that short-term liquidity right there, and this would be your ICT New York Judas swing. Okay, that's going to be a part of your uh, daily profiles. Next part of the a daily profile that we should have a look at is going to be the uh, New York open lunch hour so or sorry New York lunch and that's going to be from 1200 to 1330 from 1200 to 1330 the price should go and seek liquidity so it should go and run some sort of short-term high or short-term short-term low and a consolidation profile like today it might run both sides of the book uh, which is what we saw here. So we can see that price ran the sell side liquidity at the beginning of New York lunch, and then price came and ran the buy side liquidity at the end of lunch. Okay. Now on a consolidation day profile like Monday's trading, we see that the morning session, which is going to be from uh, really 0830 all the way to New York, um, all the way to New York lunch and then you see New York PM, they both consolidated, meaning they both had uh, not a whole lot of movement in one direction and some runs above short-term liquidity. So that is ICT daily profiles. And it started from all the way back in the London session. All right. In fact, our most directional move was, was up into the New York Open, and then obviously during regular trading hours, we 
consolidated during the AM session, we ran for liquidity during lunch, we consolidated during the PM session as well. So that is a discussion of the daily and weekly profile. Okay, now let's talk about ICT dealing range theory. So ICT dealing range theory uh, would be from this high to this low. Notice that on ICT dealing range theory, we were trading at a deep discount all the way up right until about New York lunch during the uh, London Stock Exchange close. We ended up trading back and resettling right around that equilibrium. This is a very strong sign of a consolidation day profile, um, but in terms of dealing range theory, it means that for whatever reason, the powers that be, maybe they're not sure what the Fed is going to do, maybe they're trying to iron things out for another move later in the week, whatever they're trying to do, for whatever reason, they're keeping things very, uh, very non-directional right now. Okay, so we can see that we ended in terms of our dealing range theory, we ended the day right around that equilibrium of our new dealing range. Coming into Tuesday's trading, right, we have two different options. We trade up into a premium or we trade back down into a discount. And at this point, because we're sitting right there at EQ, just using dealing range theory, I wouldn't be sure. Let's talk about inefficiencies and liquidity. So this is going to be the last thing that we talk about in terms of Monday's trading. Here, we could see that price is overall objective and where we're going to probably end up kind of resettling for the day. It's going to be this SIBI right here. Okay, so we can see that this was SIBI and then reclaimed SIBI. Okay, um, in terms of our liquidity, we had turtle soup. So um, we can basically see that the low was in a liquidity point, okay? It was below uh, the London session low. We ended up coming into that and running that internal liquidity. So that would be a turtle soup pattern or a one, two, three dice pattern. I'm sure it's also an ICT breaker as well. I'm not going to look at that. Uh, and then in terms of our upside, you can see that we just came into that SIBI right there. So that is an analysis of Monday's trading from an inefficiency and in liquidity. So we had a consolidation day profile. So all right guys, um, I'm going to leave the video at that. So Monday, July the 10th, the NASDAQ had a consolidation profile. Um, I would say that looking at your daily and your weekly profiles, Consolidation days have not treated me very well. Um, they've been difficult for me to identify. They are possible to identify, but I would say that they are um, a more difficult beast to work with than just a straight bullish or a straight bearish day profile. Um, we will see if Tuesday's daily profile starts to indicate that it wants to be more directional. With that being said, guys, there are going to be consolidation days like this. They're oftentimes going to be Mondays. They're going to be Sundays and Mondays. Um, we do have, if we take a look at our economic calendar, we can see that on July the 12th, which is Wednesday, we have a lot of economic data coming out. So uh, I would actually expect
guys, we have economic data coming out. I'm, I'm getting rid of Europe. Europe doesn't matter. Um, we have uh, economic data coming out on Wednesday. We have economic data coming out on Thursday uh, and Friday. So uh, a pretty packed week of economic data, um, starting with Wednesday, core inflation rate, inflation rate. Um, so obviously the powers that be are probably not exactly sure what those numbers are going to be. So they're just driving the market up and down, running both sides of the book, consolidating, uh, which would make sense two days before an economic uh, calendar release. Now, we'll see if Tuesday, um, if they have a clear idea of what this data should be, um, they, you know, they might, they might run us directional on Tuesday. But guys, this has been a consolidation day profile. This has been an analysis of Monday, July the 10th, trading on the NASDAQ. I used inefficiency and liquidity models. I used um, week, daily and weekly profile models. Uh, we looked at the New York Open, uh, AM Open Judas Swing. We saw, we looked at the New York Lunch 90 Minutes, and we looked at the New York AIM and PM Session Consolidation Profiles. And we also looked at our economic calendar. So guys, this has been an analysis of Monday, July the 10th, trading on the NASDAQ Consolidation Day Profile. My name is Reese. I am an ICT apprentice, and I hope you have a good one. Use my Top Step affiliate in the description box below. Bye-bye.